Namo Buddhaya. Dear meritorious devotees and my dear children, Today, from this Q&A program, we are going to discuss about the mindfulness. Now, normally, most of the people who practice the spirituality and meditations ask from us that, how can I be mindful? How can I practice mindfulness? And most of you ask that, how can I be in the present without going in the arena of past and the future? So today we are going to learn how to be in the present as well as how to be mindful. Our great teacher Supreme Buddha described us there are four types of establishments of mindfulness. The first one is the mindfulness of the body. It is known as the Kayanupasana. Second one is the mindfulness on the feelings. It is called the Vedananupasana. Third one is the mindfulness of the mind, Chittanupasana. And finally, it is the mindfulness of the phenomena, Dhammanupasana. These four types of establishments are taught by our great teacher, Supreme Buddha. So, in these four types of establishments of mindfulness, one of the major establishments of mindfulness is the mindfulness of the body. So we can practice the mindfulness towards our body. So today we are going to learn a wonderful and important meditation that we can bring into our practical life. So normally, most of the people, they don't have the time to do meditations. They are busy, living, they are living a busy life. So this meditation will help you to bring the meditation, bring a meditation to your busy life. And to practice it while do, you are doing your day-to-day -day works. So this meditation is known as Iriyapatha meditation. It means contemplation of our mind on our bodily postures. Supreme Buddha advised us that you should direct your mind to be contemplated, be concentrated and be aware of your bodily postures. If you are being mindful on your bodily postures, it means you are living in the present. Supreme Buddha describes it like this. If you are walking, when you are walking, you have to understand that you are walking. When you are sitting down, you have to understand that you are sitting down. When you are lying down, you have to understand that posture. When you are doing this, when you are being aware of your postures, bodily postures, your mind stays in the present as well as you are mindful about your body, what you are doing. So this meditation can be practiced while you are doing your day-to-day -day activities. Whether you are sweeping, cleaning your house, you can be mindful on that action. While you are cooking, you can be mindful about your bodily postures. Here's one practical way to do that. Now normally, our mind is not ready to be mindful always. If we say, if we command our mind to stay mindful, now you should stay mindful. Mind is not ready for that. So we can trick our mind and we can make our mind to stay mindful and to stay present. So what we have to do is, we have to ask a simple question from our mind, from ourselves. That question is, what am I doing now? 
Now, if I ask from myself that what am I doing now, I can answer for that. If I ask from myself, I can answer it, I'm sitting on a chair, I'm talking, and I'm moving my hands. So when you ask that question, you become aware of what you are doing. Your current posture of your body. So when you become aware of that, your mind quickly comes into the present and it comes into the mindfulness. So when you're doing certain things throughout the day, what you have to do, just ask from your mind that what you are doing, what am I doing? Then you will get answers Then you will understand that you are doing something. Now, normally, we do so many things at a time. Right? We try to do so many things at one time. So that should not be done because when we do so many things at a time, at one time, our mind becomes busy. It will easily distract it. And it loses it, its mindfulness. So it is much better to do one thing at a time. Now, how many of you watch the TV while eating? How many of you use the mobile phone while you are eating? Now, people who are using the smartphones, they know that when they eat, they take their mobile phone and they scroll through social media or whatever. They do so many things with their mobile phone. When you are doing that, remember, you are losing your mindfulness. And also, you are not completely using your mobile phone or you are not completely watching the TV as well as you are not com completely enjoying your food. So that is why it is very essential to do one thing at a time. So when you are eating, what you have to do, just eat. While you are watching the TV, don't do anything, just watch it, right? So normally when you are eating, you can feel that warmth and texture and taste of that food, right? If you are being aware of that perceptions, that feelings, then you can bring the mindfulness even while you are eating, right? So what you have to do, the first thing to do is do one thing at a time. Don't eat while you are watching the TV. Don't use your mobile phone while eating. Right? It's just kind of slow down your process and progress and your activities, but it's very essential for the concentration of your mind, for the calmness of your mind. Right? So if you're co continuously observing what you are doing about your bodily postures, Right? You are being aware of it. Now, why we should be aware of our body and our mind? Why should, why should we be mindful? So, these are the benefits of being mindful. Now, before doing something, if you are mindful, before doing something, you can detect and you can determine whether it is a good one, good action, or a bad thing. Whether should I do this thing now or should not? You can decide what to do and what not to before doing that. Now normally we do so many evil things without any awareness, without much thinking. So if you are mindful, it is much easy and it will be a great help to protect the precepts to refrain from evil things, evil deeds. So that helps for your virtues. That helps to your virtuous life. That is the first benefit. And by being mindful, by focusing on our body, by being mindful on our body, you can concentrate your mind. Your mind becomes calm, 
and it is concentrated because mind does not wander here and there when you are being mindful on your body it kind of cool down and concentrate and tranquilize your mind that is the second benefit third benefit if you practice this deeply this meditation being mindful on your body supreme buddha described us and you can realize the true reality of this life of this world that leads to the wisdom so this being mindful helps you for the virtues this is called the seal second thing is the concentration of your mind it is called the samadhi and third we can lead this mindfulness to the wisdom that is called the pratyā so by being mindful you can gain these benefits to your life so as a summary first of all the main thing to do to be mindful is to do one thing at a time don't rush your mind okay that is the first step as the second step always ask that simple question from your mind what is it what am i doing now when you ask that simple question you can be mindful about what you are doing so when you practice this mindfulness you can be happy it tranquilize your mind and you will attain a calm and quiet and peaceful mind throughout the day so i wish you all by practicing this mindfulness may you attain a peaceful and wonderful mind to your life namo buddhaya tirvasarana